Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our family vlog here in Mexico. And if you can't tell, I am a little bit sick. So I wanted you to come meet the new baby goats and the new baby chickens. They are absolutely adorable. Hi, Pee We still have to do Pee hair before we go, but before you meet the baby animals, I need to go to Ocotlan and pick up some medicine. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe and comment. We absolutely love hearing from you. All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish my last cup of coffee because if you know me, you know I love coffee. Um, and then we're gonna head out. And as soon as we get back, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new baby goats. And we also have to think of names. So at the end of the video, <laughs> oh, none. at the end of the video, I would no. love for you guys to give me recommendations on what we should name these two beautiful goats. Do we need all those toys for a short drive? I just want to the boys. I know, you're too cute. You can bring them because you'll bring them back in the house when we're done, right? Okay. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's so crazy because um, we have had rain the last like three days, like nonstop cold and rain. So yesterday I was like really, really sick, but we still had to um, fix the Chiva stalls and we had to get a ton of laundry done while the sun was out. So when you live on a farm, even if you're sick, you have to go still get things done. and then we have to walk through the Yankees. I'm gonna show you guys right now. How little those pants are. <laughs> I know I wanted to take grandma in that shop, but so 
so Sundays in Okapan are extremely, extremely busy. Like I'm very lucky I even found parking, but there's so many vendors out and all the fruits and vegetables are just so fresh. Like right here there's a lot of chiles, nuts, dried fruit, just anything you can think of. And everybody has a different thing they sell. we got everything we needed and we are heading home um, right now and the Mercado is so beautiful well it's not the Mercado it's the Tianguis I believe um, and it is so beautiful and I normally don't come on Sundays and I just it's I forget like there's all these cool things out in Mexico sometimes um, but I wish you guys could be here just to walk through it and there's so many vendors I couldn't even get in my vlog but like the fresh fruits and vegetables <clears throat> it's just so wonderful we love it um but i'm gonna head home right now and i need to take you guys to go see the baby goats and the baby chickens and i'm gonna tell you guys before we get home the baby chickens um think that annabelle and abby and penelope are their moms and That's me. yes and Pen and um they follow them everywhere and they jump out of their box now to find them and they trip for them all day. It is so cute and funny. But yeah, I hope Annabelle you guys. Made a door in the back so they can get out. Yeah, Annabelle made a door in the back. So um I hope you guys the <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed walking through Ocotlan on this beautiful Sunday. And let's get heading back home now. All right, you guys, we just got back home and Penelope wanted um, to show you guys the baby goats because they're actually her favorite. She loves the baby goats. Like, me and her love them the most. So, you ready to go show them? Yeah. All right, you guys, let's go. Uh-oh. Christiana's soccer ball went flat. Okay, so I actually brought the um, goats home in our dog jaula, and I cleaned it out yesterday because I gotta go put it away now, but we use that a lot. We also use it because we had to transfer the ducks to another stall. Put it down right here, honey. So we also used it for that. All right, you guys, so here's the new area for the ducks. They have their little nest area over here. And then they have their water and their feed. And just a couple more things I have to do. I have to move this watering hose. Normally I put it up here. It must have fell. And then I had to get this out because I was using that to separate the goats from the pig. All right, you guys. Are you ready for the cutest baby goats? And before you see them, I'm going to let you know that they are both female. And um, I wanted the baby goats for... So when they get bigger, we can have them for milking. Um, and we bought them from a milking farm. Hi guys, good morning everybody. Good morning everybody. Either, mommy. So I made this area for them and they love it. In the morning they run up here on top of the stone. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is their haula for right now, and then this morning they were sleeping right in here. So, um, this one right here is my favorite. She's a creamy, like caramelish color, and then I think we should call this her one's creamy. Like, maybe we're gonna take a vote to see. I want to hear what everyone has to say about what we should name them, but they're both so cute. Oh, Look at her shaggy soccer. little ears. I know. I love both of them equally. I love both of them equally. Um, and this white one right here, she's warmed up to us a little quicker than the creamy one in the back. 
Yeah, oh, the creamy one? Oh, the, the white one? Yeah, she's warming up to us a little faster. Hi, everybody. You guys, look at how cute they are. I want all of you to let me know what you think we should name them. Um, because we do want to name them and we want them to get very comfortable with us because um, we will eventually have to milk them. And that will take a while. They need to get a lot bigger and then they have to be pregnant and a bunch of other stuff. But we will eventually get there. They're so cute. Look at their little, they love this ramp. In the morning they run, run up the ramp and they jump all over this. Oh my goodness. It's better. Look. Look at how tiny this bite was. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. I can't wait to eat the eye. Abby, you can take the pieces. Just chomp it up here. Do you like this? The white one likes us. All right, guys, so I also want to show you are um, so they don't escape system and I know my husband could have done this like a lot better but he had to be okay with how I did it but we have this shade cloth right here and it's pretty thick um so you see the ledge the goats were jumping literally they climbed the rocks and jump on top of the ledge and when they do that they can go over to the other stall and get out um so the solution was the shade cloth is pretty wide. Take the shade cloth all the way across to the other side and I tied it as tight as I could. Um, and it's worked. They've been in here two days now and, and it, it's worked perfectly. They haven't got out and they seem really comfortable to me. They haven't been um, crying. The first night and first day they were here, they were crying a lot. And since we moved them into the new stall, um, they haven't been crying. They cry when they see us because they know we're going to come give them treats and stuff. But other than that, they're really happy and they're really content, you guys. Um, also, when they get a little bit bigger, they're going to be able to go back here and they're going to have a huge yard to graze. And the only problem is way back here where the creek is, we don't have a fence up there. They tore it down um, months ago because they were building something. So if that fence was up, we could let them out right now and let them graze. But the fence isn't up, so I'm probably I'm gonna have to wait till my husband comes back and maybe we'll just put up um, a chicken wire fence or something for a while, and then the goats can go out here and graze. But before I let them out to graze, they need to get used to me because I the, right now if I let them out, they'd run away and it'd be really hard to catch them. And it would be really stressful for them. They're used to me. They're used to pee pee. So we want them to get used to us so that we can walk up to them and grab them and catch them if they did get out. But we love them so much, you guys. The first night we got them, I was really nervous. And on the next day, we just spent all day with them. And we come out here, like right when we get up in the morning and check on them. <laughs> and we give them grassy snacks. And then the person who sold them to us, um, they milked their goats and they said I could come over to learn how to milk. And I wanted to go yesterday, but you guys, I was so sick, I could not go. So I'm gonna go the following Saturday and I wanna keep going every Saturday um, until my goats are big enough to be pregnant and to be milked. Cause I really wanna learn how to milk them and make goat cheese and I also love how they make on. Um, Yes to me. Yes. I also it's love like how. It's like this yes. Swear it. Yes to Flappy one. <laughs> Pee Pee loves them so much. Um. Also, I have very, very yeah, sensitive the, skin. Yeah, when I was the cutest goat in the world. The cutest goat in the world. I used to get eczema a lot as a kid, and I would get a lot of um, rashes and just yeah, weird candy. things on my skin, so... I really want to learn how to make um, soap out of goat's milk because I heard it's really good for your skin. So that would be awesome too. Oh my gosh, I'd love Pee Pee come over here real quick because I want people to see how they like to go on top of the, um, the wood. Look 
set up with the lights. They don't have the zoomies right now, but sometimes they have the zoomies, you guys, and they are just like running all over the place. It's the cutest it's on thing. The wall. It's on the wall. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> She's like, what is that? <laughs> what is it, mommy? What is it, mommy? Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> yeah, this one is a lot more curious than the other one. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. No. They both so pretty. She's a little bit more nervous. Um you guys also the are right, you guys also the baby goats have their own personalities. It's so funny. Um the white one is definitely more confident and not as nervous and um really is like the alpha and then this little one right here she is very sweet and she once you do get her she'll snuggle right in but she is way more timid and a little bit more nervous and cautious about everything but she also is the cutest to me i like her floppy ears look at her oh my gosh you guys we got to think of a really good name for them i like the white one more yes i think for some reason i prefer the creamy one that one's my favorite but and i prefer the white one yeah everybody else in the family likes the um white one better oh you guys look at them all right we are going to head back inside we love you. Come on, oh, look at it. Pee -pee, they're looking where you're going. Bye, babies. We'll be back. Oh, she's going to go on the stump. Oh. <gasps> Oh, look at her. Oh. oh, it makes me so happy, you guys. Oh, I'm going to stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, the goats are absolutely adorable. Um, and they're even better than push, I push. thought they were going to be. I'm enjoying them so, so much, um, especially me and Pee Pee. Um, and then also, I gotta go inside right now because it is Sunday. There's a lot of things to get done for school tomorrow and things to pick up. Um, but Abigail has to do photos for the Reina competition and all the, all the girls competing for Reina have to do photos today. Um, and I requested that they let me take photos of Abby. <laughs> so they said yes. So we are gonna also get her ready. She has to have um three three outfit changes um she has to first do vaquera and then she has to do a short kind of like fancy dress um and then after that she has to do then after that she has to do um a i think they call it gala a gala dress which is just a long gown and luckily, um, we already had all those things because Abby has a lot of dresses and stuff. So we're gonna do that today and I'm gonna ask um, the girls if I can film some of it so you guys can see and just be a part of it with us. But the next babies I wanna introduce you to are the baby chickens. You guys are adorable, I'm gonna show you right now. Annabelle, why are they not in their chicken home? Abby has the black ones. Let me and see. I didn't want it to be zoomy. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, they love you, don't they? Yeah. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. I baby. Does it love you? Yeah. 
All right, you guys, this is the chicken's box, and it was just a box, but the little girls put this furry stuff in there, and actually the chickens love it. They cuddle right into the fur. And then this is the heat lamp, and I have it pretty far away because you don't want them to get overheated. And I think it's just right because um, at night they like sleep most of the night like chickens do, and then they wake up in the morning and squeak for us. We also had to buy a bag of baby chicken food because they cannot have the normal chicken food right now. And then we put a little bit of water um, into their area for them as well. Where is it, Abby? I know you have it. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it sleeping? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, little stinkers. Okay, you can put them back. I like to curl on the neck right here. That's not gonna get comfy because you took it out of the spot. So the baby chickens are always either like curled into the little kid's um, neck or they are in their heating box, but they are doing so, so good. They're very healthy and they're doing really well. All right, guys, so those are the new additions to the farm. And if you guys can, please leave me comments of what you think we should name the baby goats. Um, and then also, we have to do Abby's Reina photos. So I'm going to really quickly, hold on one second. Okay, here I come. I'm going to go help Annabelle. I'm going to clean the house, me and the kids, everybody get the animals done. And then we are going to get Abby ready for her photo shoot. All right, you guys, the house is completely picked up. Um, and then... I just got done getting Abby ready. Come on, come on, Chica. Come on. Abby just got done getting ready. The first look for the arena has to be vaquera. So she has her boots, her shirt. It only took an hour for makeup. <laughs> Abby's posing while she had to open the gate for me. <laughs> Almost time. This is where we took what's her name's Quinta photos. I, don't, I feel like I should park down here because I'm scared right now. Just park right here. It's like all very steep. Hola. Hola. All right, you guys, don't mind how I look because I'm really sick, but we just got to our first location for the girls' photo shoots, and it's a beautiful house, and I'm gonna show you real quick. And then I have clips for the back of Abby's dress because it's kind of big on her. All right, so this is the house for Take Him In. It's so beautiful, you guys. This is just right up the road from our house. So we just did the gala dress, and now it's, what do they say, cuarto? Cuarto. I'm not saying it right, I'm saying bedroom, I think. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, the little girls are just playing. It's so beautiful out, you guys. So I have to show you guys how beautiful this house is from the entrance all the way. I mean, it's like a princess castle. It's so beautiful. So... Look at it, yeah, it's beautiful. I love how um, all of it stays to its culture, you know what I mean? Like the colors and the clay and the vines. Um, and this is very rustic looking and it's just so beautiful, you guys. The colors all come together just right. Beautiful property. So beautiful out. We have to hurry because Vaquera photos are the last set. But here's the entrance to the house. Look how high the gates are. Oh my gosh, so pretty.
so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's really dark, you guys, and they are still talking, so we're going to get going to the car. We had to cross the bridge right here. Um, I heard they make the bridges like this so that livestock doesn't cross over here into La Labors. Livestock, like cows and sheep and stuff. I can't. Okay, hold my hand, hurry. <laughs> you got this, Annabelle. Why is there so much area than last time? I don't know. Last time there was That's why, like, cows and sheep and stuff, they're scared to cross it, too. But cars easy. can cross it. You're fine. All right, you guys, we are all done with photos. They're doing the food announcement right now. Longanisa. Quesadillas. It all sounds so good. I love the nighttime announcements. All right, I think he's all done announcing. But we're going to end our night in the plaza. And the photos were so much fun. But I'm still not feeling good. And it's funny because... This is like a Pedialyte, and the other day can went I into the drink? yeah. The other day went into the store, and I was like, "Can I get a Pedialyte?" And they're like, "What is Pedialyte?" I'm like, "What are these called here?" And he's like, "Like oh, electrolyte," and I was like, "Oh yeah, an electrolyte." <laughs> so now I'll never forget what they're called here, mm -hmm. but they always help me feel better when I'm sick for some reason. Here comes Annabelle. She was just spying on her big sister. What was she doing? She's just sitting there. Oh, nothing good. It's still pretty early, you guys. So not, hold on, not a lot of people. It's still pretty early, so not a lot of people are here right now. But I'm going to get, I think it's only like almost eight. But I'm going to get going, you guys. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. And thank you everybody who um, is a part of all this with us. And let me know the names for the goats, you guys. Everybody have a really good night. Bye. 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 Bye.